Many computer video games involve a lot of rapid mouse clicking. So in this project, I'm going to show you how to modify a mouse to add a rapid fire button to it. That way you can rapidly activate the clicking function by simply holding down one button. The circuit that I built uses a 555 timer IC to send a series of pulses to the left mouse button that activate and deactivate the clicking function. The frequency is determined by the values of the resistor and the capacitor. With the values that I used, the rate was about 15 clicks per second. Start by prototyping the circuit on a breadboard. To test it, you can connect it to the mouse with alligator clips. You need to connect pin 4 and 8 on the timer to one of the 5 volt pins on the mouse, then connect pin 1 on the timer to one of the ground pins on the mouse. Lastly, connect the diode from pin 3 to the momentary switch, and connect that to the terminal on the left mouse button that's not connected to 5 volts. If it's working properly, then you're ready to solder the circuit together on a printed circuit board. You need to make it as small as possible so that it will be able to fit inside the mouse. Next, solder the timer to the mouse at the same points that you connected to earlier. When you're done soldering, trim the circuit board so that it's only as big as the components. Next, find a convenient place on the mouse to mount the button. I chose to put it on the left side because there was already a hole there for the wires. The last thing to do before putting it all together is to wrap the timer in tape to help avoid shorts. Now just fit everything in place and close up the housing. To test out the rapid fire button, I found a simple flash game that measures how quickly you can click. It calculated that I was clicking over 800 times per minute. This design can also be used on console video game controllers. The only thing that you need to change is the orientation of the diode. The buttons on a mouse connect to 5 volts to activate the function but the buttons on a console controller typically connect to ground. So you just need to reverse the diode so that the output is a series of low pulses instead of high pulses. Well that's how to make a rapid fire button for your mouse or console controller. Thanks for watching, and check back soon for more DIY hacks and how-tos.